Entering text is the first step to creating a polished document, and editing is the process of refining your words by removing words that are unnecessary and replacing simple words with more descriptive ones. Before you can delete and replace text, you have to select it, and Microsoft Word offers many ways to do this. You can use the mouse, the keyboard, or a combination of both. These selection techniques allow you to focus your edits on a single word, line, or paragraph. You can even select and delete an entire document. You've copied some passages from a classic text to study for your economics class, but you want to trim everything that isn't essential so you can learn the key points. You'll make selections, learn the difference between the backspace and delete key, use some time-saving shortcuts, and replace some of the text to make it easier to remember. We want to reduce these paragraphs to a few key points for study. Let's start in the first line with, it is to be observed. We want to select that entire phrase, including the commas, so we'll start with the most common way of selecting text, clicking and dragging. Just click and hold the mouse button where you want the selection to begin, drag to where you'd like it to end, and release the mouse. Once we have our text selected, we can remove it from the document in three ways, with the backspace key, the delete key, or by typing new text to replace the selection. Let's use the delete key. The first phrase flows much better, but the rest of the sentence doesn't help us much. Let's remove the second line entirely. To do this, we'll select it using a clickable area in the left margin called the selection bar. If you move the cursor into the left margin in the actual application, the cursor becomes a northeast arrow pointer. Just point it at the second line of text and click. The entire line is selected. Press the delete key to remove it. That paragraph doesn't make a lot of sense yet, but we'll come back to it. Right now, we want to delete the third paragraph. Let's use the selection bar again. Move the mouse into the left margin beside the first line of the third paragraph. Remember that in the actual application, you'd see the northeast mouse pointer. Let's double-click here to select the paragraph. Double-clicking in the selection bar selects the whole paragraph. Press the delete key to remove it. Let's go back to the first paragraph and try another selection technique. We want our text to read two meanings. One may be called value in use. So first, we want to select everything after meanings, up to and including the in the second line. Click just after meanings and before the comma. Now hold the shift key and click after the word the The shift key creates and extends a selection from the current cursor position to wherever you click. The shift key is a convenient modifier when making selections. If you use it in conjunction with the arrow keys, it even lets you make a selection without the mouse. Now that we have a selection, we can simply type to replace it. A colon would make the sentence clearer, so type one now to replace the selection. You can even delete text without selecting it. In the second line of the second paragraph, we'd like to delete the phrase, and, on the contrary. Start by clicking between the words, the, and contrary. A standard keyboard has two keys for removing a character, backspace and delete. The backspace key removes the character to the left of the cursor, and the delete key removes the character to the right of the cursor. But if you hold down the control key, you can use these keys to delete entire words. Press control delete to remove the word contrary. This technique for deleting words works in the opposite direction as well. Press control backspace to remove the word the. Now press control backspace to remove the word on. Now click and drag to select the two commas.
Now we can simply press the delete key. And finally, we want to replace the word and with the word while. Let's select the word using an indispensable shortcut. Just double click the word and to select it. Once you've made a selection, you can replace it using one of two ways. You can paste from the clipboard with Control V, or you can simply type over it. Let's type the word while. Selecting, deleting, and replacing text are some of the most common editing tasks. Remembering these selection shortcuts, knowing how to use the backspace and delete keys effectively, and typing to replace text can save lots of time in the editing process.